Hi, I'm Ray from Tech and uh, basically we've been getting a lot of mail lately um, with requests regarding various uh, production methods and techniques we use in our tracks. Um, so we decided we'd do a few tutorials and hopefully answer a few of those questions and help a few people out. So um, we are going to start here uh, at the start um, with the uh, impulse drum machine. Uh, you know, a lot of people use the drum rack, which is totally fine. There's pros and cons for uh, impulse and drum, drum rack. Um, we just pretty impulse for various reasons, uh, which will become clear as our tutorials go on. Um, this is going to be a quick short tutorial on the drum machine. Our next one is going to be on uh, audio buses routing audio from one channel to the other, and so the impulse it's got more of an easy use with regards to that so we get down to it here just, um, impulse here dragging onto a MIDI channel um, so as you see there's eight slots here for samples I'll have a kick here let's kick the others a lot of our tracks nice and punchy so try that in Um, some really clean sounds in here, so we'll just get a simple hat here. Yeah, there we go, it's grand. Um, draw in there. Uh, nice, a nice thing about the impulse is you can really mess around with your sound in it, so as you can hear there, hi hat is very it's very heavy, so just click it. Take the decay down on it. There's lots of stuff you can do. The start puts a bit of an attack on it. Stretch, pan, all pretty straightforward stuff. Um, transpose will change the pitch for when you're going to be uh, putting samples in key, that kind of stuff. That's um, we'll be dealing with that. Um, along the way and um, for the tutorials it's a very important part of uh, putting tracks together so um but anyway we're gonna have this um a clap to it here let's grab show that one in i need a second kick sorry there you go As you can see, the sound's peaking there, there's a lot coming through the one channel. You're going to want to send these sounds to um, streets. You want to you want to give them their own channel. You're going to want to do separate things to them. The kick is going to need certain uh, certain things done to it. Change it to mono, for instance. Uh, hats, give them a low cut, that kind of stuff. So each sound needs its own different effects on it. So they'll need to be sent to separate channels. And that's something the drum rack does automatically for you, it's one of the advantages, uh, but it's very easy to do with the impulse. So uh, basically I'll just make three uh, three separate audio channels beside it. And um, also widen them there. There you go. So go audio from impulse, that's where you want to take the audio from. See the eight slots down here, you're gonna choose choose a kick, monitor in. Monitor in means it's basically set up to take sound from somewhere else. It won't just pass through the channel, it's gonna take it from somewhere else and play it through the channel. So uh, I'll do the exact same here. Apples that's your hat. As you 
can see all the sounds are now, now on separate channels. I'll just I'll add a I'll add a bit of percussion, just a one shot and bongo let's say. Yeah. So shot it in there and let's play the whole thing. Same as before, make an audio channel, impulse, put the bongo, audio in. There we go, so now rename these, kick, and that. With the flaps, it's it is nice to layer them with maybe snares that kind of stuff. We'll deal with that uh, further down the line. Uh, this is just pretty simple, basic, straightforward tutorial. Uh, so this nail easy open to put whatever effects you want on any of them. So um, basically here a hat. For instance, you want to uh, oh filter this kind of stuff, you know. So that's the advantage. You've all your uh, tracks laid out separately, so you can basically do what you want with them. Um, We'll be dealing with that in the next tutorial. The next tutorial we'll be dealing with the audio pulses, as I was saying, and basically laying out your own the whole template, adding reverb and stuff from your return channels. So, um, so that's it there. Uh, work on this. Uh, get a few samples going. Mess around with them. Add your effects, and uh, yeah, have a bit of fun. Hopefully, hopefully this helped a few people. So, cheers. It's hard to be heard. Well, that don't sound.